it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can make something up to go in there, little tapered yeah. wedges or something. Yeah. Let's see. This is what we're doing. We'll do a quick, a quick synopsis. This bolts onto the side of the motor. There's a clutch here. And when this goes faster, it changes the pitch of this this and makes it go faster or slower. You get like more torque. Changes the, the relationship between these two. This gets wider, so it's a more turn. This gets skinny. Gives you higher random velocity clutch, maybe? Rob, what is the name of this damn thing? Leave it in the comments. <laughs> Leave it in the comments if you know what this is called. <laughs> anyway, this gets bolted on that. And then this number 40 chain goes right on that. And then that number 40 chain will also go on this, which is going to go on the shaft, which is going to drive the two rear wheels. We're going to have fixed rear wheel. Is that posi traction? Full time posi traction? <laughs> we're this, we're in America. Dude. I'm sorry. It's called posi. Some dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's just got, it is what it is. Pax makes in the house. So we just decided to eliminate this by just going fixed on the rear wheel. And that's what we're doing. We're going fixed on the rear wheel. Okay, so we've got this wheel. It's really good. Um, it goes wound. Uh, we're going to put a, some bushes in there. Uh, probably tack them in place with the TIG welder. That'll be Jimmy's department because Corinth's welding looks like bird shit. We're going to then machine back to a shoulder here. Put it through we've got a left hand thread on one side a right hand thread on the other so long as we don't go in reverse the wheels should stay on we're going to tack that then we're going to bisect that make it longer add it to a piece of steel bisect. um we go from there we happy sounds good so. yeah i don't right. think there's much chance of that crushing that looks pretty good so insert the montage right here i expect nothing This one is tapered. All right, that one's not. Yeah. Yeah, that'll go in. Yeah. So we're making fixed hubs for the back. Pax makes. Pask. Pask. It's mate. not that hard, Jimmy. Yeah. Well, I really get some, something wrong with my tongue. Just like my lay, there's something it's wrong like with my 13, tongue. Like thirteen, right? Pax. Thirteen. <laughs> thirteen. Thirteen. <laughs> thirteen. <laughs> We're using this hardened steel shaft as our axle. We're going to cut it in half. Oh, Whoa. Beauty. That was a bit of luck. This is the drive shaft from a buffing wheel. And this is reverse thread, so it goes this way. And then this is going to be right thread, so it goes that way. So when the axle's turning like this, both hubs are going to be turning to lock. They won't become unscrewed. But this is a hardened steel shaft, and it's going to run through the pillow blocks at each side of the frame but we're going to cut it in half. And one side had the reverse thread for the buffing wheel originally, and the other side didn't have anything. But we got a grade 8 bolt. The boys pinned it in there, and we could pull this back out, but it's banged in. But now we're going to TIG weld that, and then we're going to chamfer a shoulder on that, so it's going to match this exactly the opposite. Stand by and watch. So now we're welded, and we'll clean that up on the lathe and then cut this in half. That's hot. No, I won't say it. It's, in, it's rude to insult someone's welding. Did you know that, internet? It's rude. Very rude. You're not allowed to insult people's welding. See, this camera doesn't focus up close, otherwise I'd show you how beautiful that is. I'm not saying that. I can't see it. Looks good. No. TIG weld this, and we have our axle. So what's that one?
wheels on the shaft, shafts welded, those two half parts are cut, welded in place. We got our gear in place. And now we have a motor mount we just cut on the plasma table is mounted to the motor. We're gonna kind of get it in place and we're going to loosely fit up the chain and wherever the chain lives in relationship to the axle, we're gonna tack weld that in place. the plate now we're going to take the motor off and then really weld the plate and secure it up i like the proportions this this is looking pretty good this will bend never <laughs> with a bit of hate mine So we got a segmented seat. It's gonna go on there. Neil Pask in the house. Something like that. That's gonna be good. A little bit of epoxy, a little bit of wood glue. We're gonna be good. So run run. Turn yeah. that to the on position. Let's see. <laughs> the other wheel's totally loose. Oh. Oh, you know what that is? That's in case that's, oh, that's uh, the throttle one. Don't lose it because you will need it. Yes. Because the throttle cable goes there.
So you co just cold bent it. Well, you did anneal it we a little bit. We annealed it, yeah. Annealed it by yes. anneal. Oh, that's going to look so good.
Oh, shit. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing.